If you've never stopped to watch the ferocity and complexity of an ant war, I strongly suggest you reconsider. It is fascinating watching the mostly females, yes females, do battle. Check out this time lapse of an ant war that I took, that took hours and hours until my battery died, and I'll compliment it with some words of Henry David Thoreau from a passage, The Battle of the Ants. It was the only battle which I have ever witnessed, the only battlefield I ever trod while the battle was raging, internecine war. On every side they were engaged in deadly combat, yet without any noise that I could hear. And human soldiers never fought so resolutely. I have no doubt that it was a principle they fought for, as much as our ancestors, and not to avoid a threepenny tax on their tea. And the results of this battle will be as important and memorable to those whom it concerns as those of the Battle of Bunker Hill, at least. I never learned which party was victorious, nor the cause of the war, but I felt for the rest of that day as if I had had my feelings excited and harrowed by witnessing the struggle, the ferocity and carnage of a human battle before my door. Well, it's too bad my battery died, and like Thoreau, I really don't know who won as that battle raged on for a full another day. But it's just a beautiful thing to see, though a little bit disturbing, I suppose, with all the casualties. But that's nature, right? Anyways, coming up, I have a poison ivy experiment. Yes, I rubbed poison ivy all over myself, which has been just about as uncomfortable, maybe, as when I let the most venomous insects in the world those harvester ants sting me over and over. I don't know. Spread some knowledge, be nature heroic. Thanks for watching. Have a good one. Cheers.